We recently visited Canyonlands National Park Island in the Sky District near Moab, Utah. In this video, I'm going to take you on a hike to Upheaval Dome. This was truly one of the great surprises of the park. We're dodging this kind of crazy spring weather where the sun comes out for a couple minutes and then it starts ice snowing pellets. on us. Ice pellets. ice pellets and we're kind of cold so we're, I brought out the GoPro so I don't have to carry as much and we're going to do a quick hike on this upheaval dome. See what's up here. I have no idea what to expect. So we go straight. So we're going to go straight to the two overlooks. We're not going to do the entire loop trail. Let's go. It's 0.3 miles to the first overlook and 0.8 miles to the second overlook. It is short, but it is steep. We're going up there. Don't forget a big thumbs up for Canyonlands National Park. Thank you, it helps me so much on the channel. It helps more people see the video if people like it. I appreciate it. Weather-wise, you definitely need to be prepared for everything. It's supposed to be in the 50s today with some clouds. And it's raining and icing and cold. So you just want to be prepared. Because once you're out here, you can't just run to the store for a sweater. It's really quite beautiful through here. Boy, does that sun feel good when it's been overcast. Hopefully it's lighting up the view. Let's see what's up here. Oh, the teaser, a little further. Lots of hard rocks and this little big old dome rock to walk up. First overlook point, right here. I can't wait. Wow, reminds me of the Grand Canyon. Wow, look at that turquoise rock down there. That is incredible to get some pictures. That first overlook is stunning with that green rock down in the center of that crater. And the sign said that it was a mystery. They're not really sure how it was formed. That is very much worth the hike up here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there are people over there. That must be, the second overlook must be over on that dome right there. Now we're gonna check out the second overlook. That was way better than I was expecting. Kind of cool sometimes when you don't really know what to expect then you get surprised okay oh, wow there's people way over there
So that big crater with the beautiful green deposits, that used to be ocean somewhere around 300 million years ago. Then apparently 200 million years ago, a meteor came down, crashed into that spot, and then over time, the deposits had made their way up. And so that green is all the concentration of salt in the soil. And it is so beautiful in the center of that big crater. Awesome. Feels a little bit like you're walking on the moon out here with all this smooth rock. It's very different, but it's easy to get good grip on your shoes. So that's helpful. So these little rock markers have been extremely helpful. Yesterday we were at Arches National Park and the trails really aren't well marked. You can see more here. They really tell you. In fact, that was really key in helping us find our way out of the Devil's Garden um, primitive trail. So if you're interested in that video, I will link to it down below. But um, I've noticed that's very highly used here. So if you're never sure where to go, it's usually so crowded, you just look for where everybody's walking. You can kind of follow the crowd, but you can get misled because people like me don't necessarily know where they're going. So you want to be careful who you follow. So look for the rock markers. They're very helpful. There's steps. That way. We're gonna try to make it right up there. Up we go to the top. I'm gonna be huffing and puffing, but there's little, there's little notches carved out of the rock to give your foot a little bit of grip, like little steps. You can see that. So that's helpful. I gotta watch my step. That last section didn't have all the little footmarks. It's definitely doable, but it's a little more scrambling. There's not exactly very well defined places for your feet. One more, almost to the top. Wow. comfortable with a little rock scrambling this is a really cool place to come the weather can change very fast and my knee has decided that it's mad at me from yesterday so we're heading back I'm gonna turn off the camera and make it down these rocks that was really cool and if you can I suggest hiking it and then stopping right here on one of these little picnic tables and enjoying your lunch after your hike make for a really nice morning